Whether it's in your rearview mirror or rolling right through the neighborhood, it turns heads. News 5's Clay Lepard shares the story behind a particular ambulance you may have seen out on the road. It's a bit alarming. I thought it was an ambulance at first. But Bill Hughes doesn't mind the attention he gets. The more that I'm with it, though, the more that it grows on me. Roaming the roads of Northeast Ohio, behind the wheel of his mobile tattoo shop. You want to come in and have a seat in this chair? This is my giant 1998 International 4700 DTE. That's a Detroit Cummings motor in there with an Allison transmission. A converted ambulance. Definitely takes some getting used to. Now a tattoo parlor. It's like working on a submarine. Pretty much almost every one of my tattoos are from Billy. Parked in driveways. Being able to kind of have everything I need right here at my disposal is great. And pretty much wherever it's needed. What I like about it, I, you know, I'm actually like outside and in my driveway versus a tattoo shop. It gives them a different level of comfort, you know. Hughes thought of the idea 15 years ago. Everybody kind of likes playing with their big Tonka trucks in the sandbox. But finally pulled the trigger during the pandemic. I think what I'm getting out of this is uh, a lot of freedom. You know, being my own boss, uh, control my own destiny. Yeah, it's, it's costly and yes, it's hard. But uh, at the end of the day, you feel a lot better about yourself. Hughes knows a thing or two about taking an old tattoo and covering it up with something new. Oh, pretty nice. It's a lot more real, you know. So admit that. So transforming an ambulance. It's been an adventure just getting it back together. Then needling around with a new idea. Nothing better than a big red truck kind of coming down the street. Didn't seem that unusual. I uh, realized that, you know, keeping the overhead was just too much. It was just wiser to do something a little different. Executing eccentric ideas is kind of a prerequisite. You know, an internal struggle between good and evil. For a talented tattoo artist. As long as I can, can put down what they have in their head or what they have in their dreams, I feel like I've accomplished my goal. If it's one day I'm doing pretty roses or the next day I'm doing flaming skulls, I'm pretty happy, you know. And the tricked out ambulance isn't just for Cleveland. Hughes takes his truck on the road to shows and events across the country. It's a lifestyle more than an occupation. Family in tow. I definitely show my kids like the country. You know, there's just so many reasons why I like this as an idea, as opposed to the traditional sticks and stones building, you know. An artist taking an idea, sketching it out, and leaving a memorable mark. But you know, journey's a destination, and I'm just average. In Brunswick. Averagely awesome. Clay Lepard. Yeah. News 5. I That's it, it, right I there. Love it. Averagely awesome. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Great. Now, now I've got to follow that.